A Boeing KC-46A Pegasus recently made the type's first ever circumnavigation of the globe in a single flight. The journey began at McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas, and flew westward. The U.S. Air Force's rationale for the accomplishment, named Project Magellan, was to prove that the KC-46A Pegasus could traverse the world with its critical cargo. Aerial refueling tankers are intended to help add range to aircraft, and that's why aircraft like the KC-46A Pegasus are a key part of the U.S. Air Force's Air Mobility Command. For those new to military aviation and coming from the commercial side, the KC-46A is built by Boeing and is based on the 767-200. In a July statement from the 22nd Air Refueling Wing of the U.S. Air Force, Project Magellan planner Captain Cody Donahue shared these thoughts about the mission. Maximum endurance operations are all about overcoming the tyranny of distance. With a 48-hour duty day, you can literally fly across the world. As noted by Air and Space Forces magazine, the crew had experienced just one sunrise and one sunset on their long flight. Even though it's been 45 hours, we've really experienced only one solar day, a crew member was quoted as saying. Taking place in the last days of June, Project Magellan was about ensuring that the U.S. Air Force's KC-46A Pegasus was capable of helping aircraft fly across the world, either as part of humanitarian operations or to project combat power. So, how was it all executed? Well, the project may have been focused around having a KC-46A Pegasus, but other aircraft were pre-positioned to support the project. For the one KC-46 aircraft to complete its round-the-world 45-hour flight, two KC-46s were sent to Anderson Air Force Base Guam, one Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker to RAF Mildenhall, England, and one KC-135 to the US Central Command Area of Responsibility. These were backed up by a couple more KC-135s. But the KC-46A Pegasus doing the global circumnavigation was doing more than just flying around the Earth and accepting fuel. The KC-46A Pegasus was itself refueling Air Force B-2 Spirit Bombers, C-17 Globemaster III airlifters, F-15E Strike Eagle fighter bombers, and another KC-46A Pegasus aerial refueler. Colonel Brent Toth, 22nd Operations Group's commander and the aircraft commander of the KC-46A Pegasus, was quoted by Air and Space Forces magazine as saying, Air refueling is a very specific process. You have to be at a point at a certain time. And we did that four times all around the world without missing a beat. On board the circumnavigating jet were four pilots and two boom operators, plus a flight surgeon. Why the flight surgeon? Well, it was their task to monitor aircrew health during the mission. Crew fatigue was also studied during the operation. So, what do you think of this KC-46A achievement? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment down below. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.